an Iranian who came to America eight years ago to start his PhD at the University of Michigan. This year, President George W. Bush singled him out in his speech at the White House annual iftar dinner before a crowd of diplomats, administration, and Congress officials. This immigrant from Iran has become one of our nation's most ingenious biomedical engineers. I feel privileged to just, uh, you know, sitting at the dinner table uh, with the U.S. president and uh, just talking to him face to face. Last month, the good professor and his team of researchers at Georgia Tech unveiled an incredible invention that could one day help people with severe disabilities operate wheelchairs and surf the Internet by simply moving their tongue. 35-year-old Maysam Govanlu attaches a lentil-sized magnet to the tongue to mobilize the severely disabled. As you can see in this uh, block diagram, when the tongue moves, the changes in the magnetic field are being sensed by the magnetic sensors and this information is wirelessly sent to the smartphone. It can translate these tongue movements to uh, any you know, particular command. And that command could operate devices in their surroundings. TV, computer, lights, phone, you know, the, the wheelchair, the bed. He developed this idea three years ago, but his innate desire to help the disabled started while growing up with his younger brother Yasser, who was born with hearing deficiency. All of that had an impact uh, from early on uh, on me. Uh, deciding to uh, use my knowledge and expertise in engineering in the field of medicine to help those with the most severe disabilities uh, because their, uh, in their life I can have uh, the biggest impact and uh, uh, this is why uh, here I am and uh, this is what I'm doing. And the kid who liked playing with electronic toys became fascinated with studying engineering. Pretty much against uh, my uh, parents' uh, desire uh, who uh, wanted me to become a medical doctor. So Guvan Lu studied electrical engineering at the University of Tehran. Eventually, he received his MSc in biomedical engineering from Amir Kabir Institute of Technology. He credits Iran for the education that paved the way for his accomplishments today. He's now married to lawyer Azadeh Shahshahani, who works with the American Civil Liberties Union, defending the rights of women and immigrants. And uh, hopefully uh, we continue staying, being, being happy in, in, the, in the future.